We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. run up the gut. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. Tackled for a loss. That makes it second and ten. Tackles him hard at the 30. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Third and long now after the sack. Wants to go long and does. This one will fall incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Oh, excellent punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a game so that's a seven yard run there for the running back good decision making that time on the option he read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Ready! Easy, easy, easy. Rally! Rally! Rally. 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 There's a strike complete. with a sack. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Brought down around the 46-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. 
Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 45. Set, Texas! Makes it on to about the 46. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. There he goes. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Taken down to the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go back to 48 right now. Let's go. Down. Coming to you. Coming to you. Makes it to the eight. converts the extra point. A nice eight play, 69 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. He really got a hold of that kick. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. catch on that one and they push him out at the 49 reception that's a game of 25 on the play first down he's tackled at the 48 about a yard there on the quarterback keeper Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. That makes it 37. And he's taken down around the 32 yard line. Big opening makes it to the 21. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0 UCLA. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Gains his way to the seven yard line. That's a team of 14 yards. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That makes it first and goal.
the middle for a nice run. strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. We'll be tied with the extra point, and he adds the extra point. So a 10-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He fights forward to about the 30. He's taken down at about the 39 yard line. that quickly incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. Number 14 on the tackle, the 37-yard line. That brings up third and 12. Him hard at the 27 yard line. Loss of 10 yards on the play. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball. And that's what they're going to have to do again here. This is smart, efficient play calls. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And he throws it away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They keep it on the ground at a great tackle right there. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. Blair's it and almost had it intercepted. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third and ten coming up. 
Ball on the 20-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. two-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Flips it, middle to the running back. And they got him for a loss. Dropped back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Strike to his receiver, no good. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Here's the halfback on the screen. The Bruins will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They knock it down, incomplete. the catch and look out and down he goes at about the 33 yard line now it's first and 10 after the big pass play it definitely put them in better field position and I just have a feeling that they're gonna punch it into the end zone on this drive he's wrapped up for the sack there's sack number four well he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball that's gonna lead to turnovers they come out on an empty backfield his eye on it makes the catch so they pick up quite a few yards on that play Kirk well that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers and a quick throw and that sets them up for the first and goal tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. UCLA is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. 
gains his way to the 39-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Throws it deep. This one is batted away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. A great first half comes to a close. 14-7, UCLA. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. The stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. UCLA is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. down around the 39 yard line call it a gain of 13 yards that makes it first and 10. Easy, easy, easy. Stingray. 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 he gains a couple of yards on a carry good stop there by the freshman you got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble And they make the stop right around midfield. First down. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Stingray. Stingray. That scramble gets them seven yards. The ball pops free. They fall on him. He makes his way out to about the 25. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 17 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. 
Regular, Why, regular, 88? regular! Why, 88? Hot, hot! Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of four. First down. First down. Down quickly. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That'll make it second and four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and goal. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Touchdown, Ducks! They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big run moves. 14 apiece. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Makes it out to about the 40. Scrambling. He's got the corner. He keeps it. He's tackled at the 39. the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. for a loss. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. This is the ninth play of this drive. Don't get nervous. Down! Got the corner. He might have a chance. Brought down in the open field. Taken down around the 13-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. UCLA is looking to go up by three. 
It's up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Taken down around the 43 yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. Red 85. And the halfback picks up a yard. Three down and one to go. The Bruins with a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Fox two. Fox two. Fox two. Wide. Makes it to the 24. First down. Quick throw, touchdown, and they take the lead. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. the 38-yard line. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the 41. That makes it second and six. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Gives it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, 
first down. Has some daylight. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Fights forward to about the seven. With the run. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. He's scrambling. Brought down at the five yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes his third and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Caught open field. First down. down. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Black and five! Black and five! Run, 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 run! And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's third down. Just over two minutes in the game. He's on the run, and they make the stop at the 42. That's good for a game. On the ball, on the ball. First down. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Delta! 50! Delta! Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 26 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Swiss, 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 Swiss! And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The Ducks taking their first time out of the half. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Let's go! Jack, Jack! Fox two! Fox two! Zips it to the back. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, that's 
just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. The kick is up, and it's good. kickoff he really got a hold of that kick let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return the worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime if they can make a couple of plays then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation quick out to his receiver and he's hit before he can go anywhere a five-yard gain. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. UCLA's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. That's a great tackle. The 39-yard line. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. right in his hands. Touchdown. It's a brand new ball game once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge. Now it's their game to win. And he tacks on the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. He goes out of bounds at the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. 
Nearly intercepted. Oregon's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.